Welcome to 321 Photoshop. I'm Julianne Cost. Here are five ways to customize the Photoshop interface. First, we can show, hide, and reposition the panels that we use most often. I prefer the panels to be on the left of the screen, so I'll drag the Layers panel and release it when I see the solid cyan line to dock it to the toolbar. I'll position the Properties panel below the Layers panel, and I'll use the Window menu to show any additional panels that I want to use and reposition them as needed. Then I can right click to close any unneeded panels. Second, we can customize the toolbar. I'll click and hold on the three dots and choose to edit the toolbar. We can hide unused tools by dragging them to the extra tools area. We can rearrange the grouping of tools. We can reorder tools. We can separate tools, even reassign or delete keyboard shortcuts. Once applied, we can always access the hidden tools using the tool editor icon. Third, we can hide menu items that we aren't using by selecting Edit Menus. I'll navigate to the menu that I want to hide and click the eye icon to toggle its visibility. When a menu has items that are hidden, a command to show all items is added to the bottom of the menu. You can select it to temporarily see all of the items or just hold Command on Mac or Control on Windows before selecting the menu to see all the items. Fourth, we can add custom keyboard shortcuts to frequently used menu items. For example, instead of having to select Layer, Smart Object, Convert to Smart Object, I'll use the Keyboard Shortcuts Editor, choose Application Menus, scroll down, and assign a shortcut. Now, converting to a Smart Object is as easy as using the shortcut. Finally, we can capture all of these settings using the Workspace Picker. I'll choose New Workspace and give it a name. Panels are saved by default, but we can also save keyboard shortcuts, menus, and toolbar options. The saved workspace will then appear at the top of the list in the Workspace Picker. I'm Julianne Cost. Thanks for watching.